junkie welcome to my channel today I am getting into four heat protectant sprays meant for use on dry hair so these are the kind of sprays that protect your hair from heat from straightening irons and curling irons and they are meant to be put in your hair when your hair is completely dry and not wet so there are some heat protectants that you can put in your hair damp or dry well these are the ones usually in some sort of spray there can be an aerosol or just a regular pump spray. And I have four products that I'm gonna be trying out and comparing with you all today. If you ever have straightened your hair and notice your hair like frying or just really drying out, you probably need to use one of these sprays. Actually, if you're gonna use any heat tool, I recommend protecting your hair uh, in multiple ways. And usually what I do is I put, when my hair is wet after I wash it, I put in a leave-in conditioner slash heat protectant. Sometimes I blow dry my hair. And then on top of that, I will use one of these sprays to finish off the look with a curl or straightener or both. Um, so I like to do double duty because these suckers get over 400 degrees usually. And that can really do a number on your hair, especially if you have color treated or chemically processed hair. So these are very important and I don't know that everyone uses them every time or appreciates them or really uses them like consistently. And I think these are like the sunscreen of hair care. A matter of fact, some of these probably have UV protectants in them, which will help protect your natural hair or your color treated hair from being affected by the sun. Um, so let's get into what I'm going to be comparing today. I have two new products that I've purchased and two products that are already in my collection. So the first one that is new is from Guy Tang. This is from the hashtag my identity collection, I believe. This is the My Defender spray. It's a light control heat protecting spray. The other new product I have is from Bondi Boost and this is not aerosol. This is like a regular pump spray and this one is paraben sulfate and silicone free, vegan friendly. It's a little bit smaller. And then part of my existing collection is the AG Hair Care Firewall. This is the Argan Shine and Flat Iron Spray. And then the last product I have, I believe, I'm not sure if it's discontinued, but I did not see this on the Rusk website. Uh, but it has been around for a while and I think there's a version of this that still exists, so I'm still including it in this video. This is the Thermal Flat Iron Spray. This is 8.8 .8 ounces. I believe now the new one is smaller and they label it as a shine spray. We're gonna talk about this one as well. Let's get into comparing prices, details, how much you get, what's out there in the market right now. So as I said before, there's a difference between a heat protectant cream or lotion or something that you can use on damp and dry hair. And then there's the products you can only use on dry hair. So. They're gonna be sprays, aerosols, things like that, that are a much thinner and can basically dry after the use of the iron. Um, if you use your iron and the product is still very wet, um, that's probably gonna be an issue because generally you don't want to make your hair wet before you use one of these because these are meant for dry hair. So if you like put a cream in and then use this that's not really the way to go and you can really expose yourself to super damaging your hair, which you do not want to do. So <laughs> um, the important thing to look for is for use on dry hair and it's generally going to be a spray. What I'm usually looking for generally is an aerosol because that means it's going to be a finer mist and my iron is going to go through go over glide over my hair easier my hair is going to look sh more shiny rather than like um a, a pump which i'm usually afraid is going to just have a thicker mist and tend to make my hair look wet and be wet 
which also something I want to avoid when I'm using a flat iron in particular. I don't want to make my hair so wet that it becomes wet, <laughs> essentially. So I generally look for an aerosol. Also, I don't want any hold. I don't want a hairspray that also heat protects because, you know, I'm usually I'm straightening my hair. I don't want it to be stiff and I don't want it to be hard. I want it to be soft and smooth and shiny, but not stiff. Um, so that can be difficult to find to get a product like this without any hold. So I did land on these four and so let's start with the most expensive. <laughs> and as I said, this is a new one. I haven't heard of Guy Tang. Maybe he's just new to Ulta. Um, Guy Tang, I believe, is like a celebrity hairstylist and apparently he has his own line now. Uh, but this is the My Defender Spray. It is 198 grams, seven ounces. This is one of the larger aerosols that I have found like in existence. So I definitely wanted to try it. This is $28, so pricey, but honestly, comparing to other aerosol um, heat protectant sprays for dry hair, this is not a pretty good size for how much you're paying. Like you, you, Honestly, a lot of these types of products are $25 and up. So this is not a, not a bad price. Um, it does say light control on it though. So that is something to consider. This is supposed to provide thermal protection up to 450 degrees, protects the integrity of hair and color by creating a barrier around the hair, gives light control to help tame antennas and flyaways, improves overall manageability, it says just spray a cloud over the hair to let the mist fall evenly over the hair. It says shake well, spray and comb through dry section hair to maintain moisture during heat styling. I'm not gonna get into the ingredients cause I don't know that many. I can see there's silicone in here, um, alcohol, obviously with a hit them. In aerosol, there's generally alcohol in there. This is one of the larger sizes for $28. Let's get into the AG Hair Care Firewall. This is not a new product. This has been around and it's definitely been on Ulta's website. This is 143 grams, five ounces. This is the Argon Shine and Flat Iron Spray. And this is $26, so $2 less, but it's five ounces. It is an aerosol and it has argon oil in it. To provide high shine plus a smooth protective barrier between your hair and your flat iron, smoothing, protecting, and preventing breakage while controlling unruly hair and flyaways. It offers thermal protection up to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh boy, this doesn't give me as much protection. I did not realize that. Okay, good to know. Spray six to eight inches from dry hair for maximum shine. Section hair prior to flat iron use. Reapply for additional shine. Okay, well, so the degree, the temperature protection is not as high as on this one. Wow, interesting. That's disappointing. So this one has less ingredients it seems it ha has silicone in it which and the argon oil which helps with the shine there's no hold in this um, but interesting with the degrees of protection the next one so the next one is the bondi boost heat protect spray now this is 125 milliliters 4.23 ounces this is not an aerosol so but it is for use on dry hair, surprisingly. This is $19.95 at Ulta, and it is a lightweight, non-sticky protective mist bursting with potent actives to help improve the look of existing damage and prevent future hot tool-induced breakage. It's a non-sticky formula. It has aloe vera, peppermint, B5, rosemary, organic leaf juice, paraben, has no paraben, silicone sulfates. So this one is a little bit different from the others because it doesn't have silicone in it if you're looking for something like that. You're supposed to miss it from roots to ends before styling with hot tools to minimize the effects of heat-induced damage. 
can be used on dry or damp hair, but don't ever use heat tools on wet strands. Very important. So the one thing about this that I don't know is the degree temperature that this actually protects your hair, like how high of heat tools can you use? So I'm gonna be looking up on Bondi Boost website to see if I can get some more info. Okay, so I went directly to the Bondi Boost website. They do not claim any sort of degree specific temperature degree protection, which makes me very nervous um, that maybe they don't want to like commit themselves to protecting up to a certain point, but I wish they would give more information so you could know like, hey, I would have to use a lower temperature if I wanted to use this. Or maybe I just used it with my blow dryer, you know? I think it's good to inform how much it protects us, but I mean, we'll see. I'll feel my hair as I use it, if it feels cooler than the others. Okay, so last one is the Rusk Thermal Flat Iron Spray. This gigantic can right here, and as I mentioned, I think this is phasing out, being discontinued, at least this large size, but you can get it at Walmart or Amazon. Yeah, so this, so Walmart has this 8.8 ounce product, 250 grams, 281 milliliters for $15.41. So $15 for this huge guy. This is our best value. This one is an aerosol and it is a thermal protectant spray for smooth, shiny hair. It has pure argan oil. Enriched with silicones to add shine, protect and condition the hair where it is most needed, especially when using heat styling appliances. You want to spray onto clean, dry hair prior to using a flat iron. That's pretty much all it says. It doesn't give a specific degree of protection either. Because this is discontinued, I really don't have any more information but Rusk does have a version of this on their website called the Thermal Shine Spray instead of flat iron, and it's like half the size, it's 4.4 ounces. It's still an aerosol, and that one says it adds body and shine with heat protection. It says it adds body and shine without buildup while protecting the hair shaft and cuticle. Formulated to eliminate frizz and leave hair smooth, straight, sleek, and shiny. On Rusk's website, there is no promise of any degree, particular degree protection. So another thing to make me feel nervous. <laughs> Um, but I think that's kind of how it goes probably with uh, many of these products out there. Like you just, sometimes they say, you know, all the specifics and sometimes they don't. So let's get into trying these out finally, <laughs> what you've all been waiting for. Um, let's section off my hair. So generally, just so you guys know, like my routine when I want to like smooth out my hair and straighten it. What works best for me and is honestly less effort in the long run is if I just blow out my hair first with a round brush and kind of get out the majority of waves and curls. And then if I have some sections with some bumps or just kind of want to finish it off and make it super smooth, I'll use this. But before I do that, I'll put in a spray. So that's generally what I do. I didn't blow out my hair though, so it's very curly, but I think it's going to be a little bit more obvious like when it's smooth, like how shiny my hair looks when using these products. I think though for the purpose of <laughs> the comparison between the four products, I think I'm going to have to compare the front sections because that's what you can probably see easiest. So I might do like one product in this side, another on this side, and then take another layer and do comparison with the two layers. Let's start with our most expensive one and a new one for me, the Guy Tang My Defender Spray. Now remember this one has some hold to it, so that's going to be interesting. What I generally do is spray a section and then do all my hair, so I'll just spray this whole section with this one. and. I think I'm supposed to spray this pretty far away. So I'm gonna spray the underneath. Might have gotten a little bit too close, but just wanna make sure I have it everywhere. 
So this one feels, you can definitely feel the hold. It feels a little bit, oh, actually pretty sticky. Um, I think you might be able to avoid some of that stickiness if you held it even farther away, but I think it's pretty unavoidable because this is a sticky one. So as I said, you want to use small little pieces. And first, first sort of impressions. I'm not loving this coating that it's putting on my hair and I can feel it on my fingers. It's very sticky. Um, some of you, if you're going to be curling your hair, um, probably want some sort of hold. So you probably won't mind that, but if you have straight hair, I think most people don't put hairspray in straight hair. It's a pretty simple style. So you can see the product evaporating, which is always good to see instead of it burning the crap out of your hair. But it's pretty straight. In terms of shine, it looks, doesn't look super shiny. It kind of just looks like how my hair would look without any product. And I'll show you, well, I can't, I don't really want to show you what my hair looks like without any product. But it pretty much looks like this. I mean, straighten your hair, it smooths out the cuticles so it makes your hair shiny anyway, but you know, I think it has a little bit of grippy film on it still, which I'm not a huge fan of. But some of you may appreciate a little bit of grip. Some of you may want some of that to build volume if you like to like put curlers in your hair or anything like that. I don't know. Some people like different things in their products, but I just want my hair to be smooth, smooth, smooth. I wouldn't even say that it has hold, to be honest. I think it just has, like, tackiness. So if I wanted to do, like, an updo or something, or create volume, like I said, or do something with my hair that needed, like, a good grippy base, this might be a good product for that. But for just plain straightening, I'm not sure this is it. I will say what this one has going for it over the others is the promise of protecting my hair up to 450 degrees, which is awesome. So my, my hair still feels fairly hot and I can still feel like a lot of the product in my hair even though I've, I've you know my hair is pretty much straight now you can still feel a lot of product in it and I think you can kind of see it's got some stiff sections in here I don't know it's it's a strange product for me to use for straightening um, because I can, it doesn't feel as smooth. It's got like a film on it. So not great first impressions for this one, unfortunately. But let's go to the Firewall, which is the next most expensive, $26. Remember this one didn't have as high of protection, only 320 degrees, which I don't have control over the temperature with my GHD Platinum. So, I'm worried that I'm going to have to either use a lot of this or my hair is actually getting damaged um, with this one. Not as much as it would if I had nothing in my hair. Like, my hair feels so soft. Yeah, so another thing to compare, like, what does your hair feel like with no product? versus products, my hair feels softer with no product. Even though it's curly than this side with product. So that's not a great sign. Oh wow, so let's try the firewall. So this one I've been using. Um, it's been in my rotation. I like it, I will say that. I mean, I already know that I like it, but I'm not a fan of how low the heat protection it gives um but what i like about this there's no grippiness there's no hold 
there's no stickiness at all, it, but it is very shiny. So if you have hair that tends to get greasy really fast, and you find that this product, after you use the flat iron, doesn't really evaporate all the way, it might look a little greasy and a little bit too much for you. And that can happen easily with any shine spray with like a silicone in it, it just, or oils in it, it just kind of can get overwhelming real fast. And if you have to spray a lot to protect your hair, sometimes shine sprays are unpopular with people because it just, okay, it protected my hair, but now it looks like a greasy oil slick. So you have to find a balance. I have pretty dry hair, so I can usually handle a bit of shine. Um, and I definitely try to, if I wanna keep my hair straight for several days, try to do a little bit of dry shampoo on my roots, like the first day I do my hair. And that really prevents a lot of oil on my roots from looking real nasty. So let's try this one. Um, I think you'll see a difference between the Gai Tang one and this one. You can still see the product smoking and evaporating off my hair. This one still feels fairly hot, like my hair still feels fairly hot. Um, let's see, I feel like I have to go through it a couple more times to straighten my hair for some reason. I think it, I know it's hard for you guys to see, I think this side looks shinier than this side. It's just a little bit duller and this has a little bit more shine to it, but it's a little bit hard. Let me do some more pieces. So another reason to blow dry your hair out first is that if you don't get every section, it's not as a big deal, but when you are really straightening your hair, mostly with this iron, you have to make your sections a little bit smaller, otherwise you're going over the same area a lot more, like I am. I'm trying to do these big sections here. Now this is a ceramic flat iron. Most people these days have are using ceramic flat irons. Those are the best for your hair. But depending on what, you know the model you have, some of them are easier to glide through your hair than others. You know, they all have like a different coating on here. So that might you know make a slight difference on how the product you know glides through your hair. But this one, super easy. So I'm going to try my best to show you. So this one looks a little bit more stringy for whatever reason. And this one looks a little bit more full. But there is the AG Firewall and this is the Guy Tang My Defender. I think you can see this one's giving off more shine and this one's a little bit more dull. So that's the comparison there. I know this is not perfectly straight because I can't see the ends of my hair. Here we go. Just a little bit more shine. I know the color isn't exactly the same on both sides. Anyway, I mean, I think it makes sense that a, a shine spray makes your hair look shinier versus one with some control and makes it a little bit more dull. These are like really obvious observations, but honestly, as you're doing your hair, I think more people are gonna enjoy the ease and slickness of the shine spray versus a spray with like a hairspray feel to it. It's just harder to work with my opinion. So I'm going to make sure these sections are separate from the next layer. Now I'm going to use my Bondi Boost. This is the non-aerosol spray and I'm going to use it on this side. Let's see. It's a pretty fine mist but it definitely makes my hair feel more wet. 
So when my hair feels more wet, it makes me not want to apply a lot and that makes me feel like it's not gonna protect my hair as well because I can't put that much. But we're gonna try it out. It feels like a conditioner, detangler type of deal. It smells really good. I have to say, you know, all of these products, the smell is not super noticeable to me to make a comment. They're not like fragrance free or anything like that. So I just wanted to make a note. All right, the Bondi Boost side. Let's go into this. Does not feel sticky at all, but I, as I noted before, there's no promise of degrees of heat protection. So that makes me super nervous. So I can see product evaporating and yeah, I think you can see that little puff of smoke. So that's always good to see that. Make sure my hair isn't burning off, but the product is evaporating. So I guess it doesn't really matter if your hair feels wet as long as after you straighten it, it feels dry. This definitely feels dry. It does still feel fairly warm. This, like the, um, firewall, the AG firewall, look a little bit more stringy and just maybe a little bit more effort to make it straight just because this is just sleek product. Sometimes you just skim over your hair and you have little bumps. It is nice though. It's looking fairly shiny. I think it's a not as shiny as the firewall, but pretty nice shine, natural shine. That looks pretty good there. All right, let's get into the Brusque Thermal Flat Iron Spray. So this one has been in my collection and it's pretty full and there's a good reason why. It has a similar result as the My Defender Spray and that it is very sticky and so much so that the nozzle got clogged with product and that I had to put a needle in and kind of wash it out with warm water to unclog it. Um, it also just provides a lot of stickiness to my hair. So I kind of stopped using it, but I mean, I still have it. So it's good for you guys to know what this is like in case you want to buy the smaller version of this, this that is out. So I'm going to spray it all over from far away. Now this one doesn't smell great. I don't want to know what the new one smells like. I think this one is getting clogged, so that's that. Ugh, my, feel, my hair feels instantly like a spray gel, like it feels hard. So it's kind of like a spray, hairspray type of deal, but this one has even more hold than the My Identity, My Defender Spray. So <laughs> you can tell I do not like this one. I brushed it out a little bit. Yeah, definitely just harder to work with when you're using one of these, in my opinion. It just doesn't glide well. Um, and we don't know how much it's protecting our hair. You can see it evaporating though. I think it's doing something for sure, but. A little bit annoying to use. It works. I just think like if you're used to a sticky product like this, it's no big deal. Like this is a great value for the size you get, but you kind of just get a little bit of a different result. I mean, my hair is still straight at the end of the day. People from far away are not going to notice anything much different. <laughs> um, it does still feels hot, like my hair feels hot still. I haven't really found a product that like prevents my hair from getting hot at all. Do you guys notice a difference? Probably not. Let's make this a little 
refrigerator. There's our side by side. This is the Bondi Boost. This is the Rusk Thermal Flat Iron Spray. I think the shine level is pretty similar. I mean, I think it looks the same. But in terms of like using it, the Bondi, this is pretty user friendly. Um, but again, I don't know how well it protects either one really. In terms of feel, this feels softer, the Bondi Boost, the Rusk has a little bit grip. Now my hair feels a little bit drier. Um, similar to the My Defender Spray. Alright guys, <laughs> I finished the two layers with the four products. I'm noticing some big differences and you know, it, it all comes down to preference, what you like for your hair, how you, how things um, work while you're using them. You know, it's all a matter of like how much you care what a product like feels like as you're using it. Like that's kind of a big deal because the end result at the end of the day, there's not a huge difference except for maybe the level of shine and the way it feels. Um, some people only care about how their looks, their hair looks from a distance or close up. They don't really care how it feels to other people because most people aren't touching your hair, right? Some people really care about softness and they want their hair to feel super soft because they're touching their hair all day. Um, for me, I like softness, especially with a straight style. I don't like stiff straight styles. I don't know many people that do. Um, but you know, for people that are doing, want their hair to last, you may want something that has some hold that is a little bit drier, that maybe you have oil issues and you want that extra dryness and maybe you want to build some volume with the roots, that, that's going to help you out. So the two products that will help you out with that is the Guy Tang and Rusk. This is a firmer hold. This is a lighter hold, but it has a lot of stickiness. They both have an extreme amount of stickiness, which as I'm using the product and straightening my hair, it actually makes it harder to straighten, which I do not enjoy. <laughs> but I think this one particularly has a good amount of protection, at least it claims to. I mean, my hair still feels hot when I'm using the flat iron, so I don't know how you can really test that and tell if your hair is being protected better one over the other, <laughs> but you know, there is a difference in how you experience these products. This one I would not recommend at all because it, it doesn't even exist, but it kind of makes your hair feel like as hard as it, if it had gel in it almost. Like as I was straightening at first, like my hair became stiffer and stiffer even as after I used the flat iron, which was really weird. It feels soft, <laughs> pretty normal now. But it just kind of like created this hard like shellac over my strands which was just very strange because I think also the problem with this one is it doesn't claim to have any hold to it but it has a lot of hold in my opinion. Like way too much. I mean it, all it says is thermal protectant spray for smooth shiny hair. It doesn't really make my hair shiny even though it has argan oil and it just makes my hair super sticky and stiff, but it doesn't claim any hold at all, which I just find super interesting. Like, this is a product that just definitely dupes you for the price, and you think it's going to be great, and it's uh, like not what you think it is at all. So I don't recommend that. I don't enjoy a product that dupes you. I'm going to do the rest of my hair um, probably using these two new ones just because I want to keep trying them. I'll be back when I'm all done and I'll share my final thoughts. All right, my hair is all straight, finally. I bet you guys can't guess what I used on this side versus this side, but I will tell you, this is the My Defender Spray. And this is the AG Firewall side. Now this is just like the top layer that you can see. Um, I don't know. You probably can't notice much of a difference. I can't. I can feel a difference for sure. 
a little bit uh, drier feeling, more grippy. This is definitely smooth and sleek, but I will say pros and cons to each. And I ended up using a lot more of this on one of the layers of hair, and I found that, you know, I used a good amount, but I wasn't getting a lot of evaporation, like the smoke that you see when you straighten your hair. So it made me feel like, you know, is this really working? Is it really protecting my hair? Did I spray enough? Do I have to really wet my hair to get enough protection? Because even though like after I straightened my hair, my hair was dry, but I didn't see a lot of product evaporating. So it made me feel like, I don't know if I have to spray more or I just didn't trust that it was protecting my hair and my hair felt, I don't know, like there wasn't a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> like even though like I missed it, misted it, it didn't feel like I had enough product. I don't know, I got a weird feeling that this felt good, it, you know, it, it was easy to use, it wasn't sticky at all, but I have doubts about the amount of protection, so I can't really recommend this. I mean, it is pleasant, but if you're straightening your hair and you wanting some protection with a flat iron, I can't endorse this one. I don't, I don't think it, it quite, I have my doubts about its ability to protect your hair from over 450 degree heat. It's nice, it doesn't have silicones, it feels good, but I just kind of feel like I'm putting in a conditioner spray. That's just the vibe I get from that one. We already talked about this, don't do the rusk heat protectant sprays, just don't do it. The AG Firewall, I really like. I'm gonna finish it, but I'm really sad. This would be perfect if it was larger, if it cost less money, and it protected my hair over 400 degrees. Because it doesn't, I'm gonna still be looking for my perfect product, and this quite doesn't quite fit the bill and I need something better. If I'm gonna spend this amount of money, I need to buy something else. The My Identity My Defender Spray. So you can see, you know, my hair looks straight. It just makes my hair feel drier. It has a grippiness to it. It's not as easy to glide the iron down my hair with this because of the amount of hold. I wish it didn't have hold, otherwise I think I'd like it, but it does have that. What I like the best about this is how much protection you get. 450 degrees Fahrenheit protection, which is awesome. The price is $28 for seven ounce. It's a little bit bigger, which I like. So this was like almost there, except for the amount of stickiness and grip to this product. I think you can still use it. You can definitely straighten out your hair, but this might be better for more updo styles or styles where you kind of want a smoothness but also a curl this might be a better fit for that but for straight up just straightening your hair with a flat iron I think most of you are not going to be super pleased with the stickiness so overall what can I recommend not a lot <laughs> um I there are other products out there so I want to talk about them briefly and what I've tried um what my dream product honestly is a big amount of a good amount of product so over five ounces less than twenty dollars would be great I could even do low 20s but when we get closer to thirty dollars it just feels like a lot of money for what it is and these kinds of products like if you straighten your hair regularly you go through them so quickly especially if they're an aerosol so spending that kind of amount of money for not a lot of product is not ideal for me. Um, but a lot of these types of products do not come in big sizes. Like the average is five or less, five ounces or less, which is not great for like 30 bucks. Like it's just, it's not a good value. I used to have my perfect product and it got discontinued and I should have stocked up. It's the catwalk brand uh, from Tony and Guy, I believe, and it was the Hot Iron Spray, H-A-U-T-E. That had a lot of shine, it had a good protection, I felt like it worked really well, and it was a good value, and you, you could get it at Ulta, there was plenty of deals where you could get buy one, get one half off, and stuff like that. 
Um, so it was a brand that went on sale, and even though it, it wasn't like a huge amount of product, there was deals on it. And there are deals for AG hair care sometimes as well in Ulta, but not as frequent, and especially this product doesn't go on sale as much. Still looking, if you guys have ideas about a big size product that gives shine, no hold, that gives protection over 400 degrees, please comment below. We all want to know. I don't know that I've tried the Dry Bar Hot Toddy. That one is $28 or $27, uh, but it's 4.6 ounces, so still not very large. But that one does protect 450 degrees as well. And that might be a good alternative. Um, it's available at Sephora, but I don't believe Dry Bar is available at Ulta. Some pe this one has mixed reviews on, on Sephora. Some people are commenting on the smell. People say it feels better after using the product, doesn't weigh the hair down, doesn't leave your hair crunchy or sticky. There's one from Amika, which I could try. That one is $25, 5.3 ounces. The one from Living Proof. Okay, so the Living Proof one I have tried. It's the Perfect Hair Day Heat Styling Spray. That one is 5.5 .5 ounces, also $28. So it's a little bit more for your money. Um, I think I en enjoyed it enough. I just wanted to find a cheaper alternative. It does protect up to 450 degrees, which is great. And I think it, it didn't have any stickiness from what I can remember. And it is on Ulta, so I'll, I'll try to see if I can get it on sale through Ulta in the future. And the reviews seem fairly good for this one versus like the dry bar one. But what I find challenging is like searching for these types of products. Um, it, the results kind of vary depending on the words you use. So if you use like flat iron spray, heat protectant spray, hot iron spray, you're going to get slightly different results. But as I said, you want to find those products that are in the spray form and probably you're going to get a finer, more, more protecting mist with an aerosol. So you don't want the products that you can use wet or dry really. You just want the dry hair products. Um, so I find it tricky to like find like a number of brands that consistently have a spray like this like not every brand has a spray like this unfortunately I mean even some of like the high-end luxury hair care brand brands do not have a product like this in their collection it's so frustrating I'm always like on the search on the look for it um, but you know not that I want to spend a lot of money or need to buy luxury I just want something that's easy to use affordable and works don't we all? I have seen a couple comments about a Tresemme heat protectant spray. Kind of what I thought. It looks like a regular pump, so it's probably pretty wet. Or Way, brand Way, has a heat protectant spray, but it's also $20. Let's see how much is in there. 4.4 ounces. So you guys can see the, the trend that I'm finding. I know, so I know that, so speaking of like, TIGI, that brand, that's Joyco. They have these kinds of sprays, but some of them have heat hold to them, and the reviews are not across the board great, so I'm like, I don't know what to get. <laughs> um, there's a frizz fighting bond protector from Joyco. There's the IGK Good Behavior Spirenal Spirulina? spray but that looks to be $32. Oh there's also the brand GHD. They have a their own heat style spray but I think that, yeah four ounces $25 on QVC. Um, she makes a thermal spray. I mean a lot of companies do it. Alterna, Gaisu is a new one. Anyways let me know your thoughts on these heat protectant sprays. What do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys use on a regular basis? I know I'm not the only one that straightens my hair and has color treated hair and wants to make it remain looking good. Uh, let me know what you guys use. What's your brand? How much does it cost? Please comment below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.